Hi, this is Ken with CB World. In this video, I'm going to show you how to check the electrical ground for a CB antenna. This is something you'll want to check when your SWR is high or you're having a poor transmission, and it's a real simple thing to check. We're going to be using a multimeter to do this. Normally, I like to use a test light, but the leads on this multimeter are much longer, and for this type of thing, it works a lot better. It's a real easy thing to do. Um, you'll take one lead, put it on the mount itself, and then the second lead you're going to want to put to the chassis ground or the vehicle ground. Normally this would be the negative terminal of the battery. In some cases, like this one, the battery is all the way over there and our leads from our multimeter just aren't going to reach that far. So what you can do when you can't reach it is look for a ground on the vehicle, uh, preferably one you know is good, but in a lot of cases you can find one like this right here with a grounding strap going to it and uh, another ground running to it. And it's a pretty good bet that that is a good ground. and we just touch our other lead to that one and our multimeter should jump just like that when we touch it. If there was a grounding problem with the mount the multimeter wouldn't move at all and of course if it doesn't move you always want to check it and make sure that that multimeter is working. If you find that the multimeter is working and you still don't have a good ground on this mount you can always move the antenna mount, um, probably not the, the best option. You can also run a grounding strap like this from the mount to a good ground. And also something you can try is scraping a little pa paint off the body out from under the mount. Of course you're doing that at your own risk. Um, it does work, but obviously we're not going to tell you to go scraping paint off your vehicle and damage it. Um, but that's definitely something that does work. In many cases, if you're having trouble with a high SWR or poor transmission, if you test that ground and you find out that it's bad or not a good ground and you improve that, your problems will go away. And that's pretty much all there is to testing it. As always, you can give us a call or shoot us an email if you have any questions. And thanks for watching.